everyone today i'll be teaching you how to make this delicious and cheesy spinach and artichoke dip so let's get started with the video in a large pan over medium heat cook four slices of bacon Once your bacon is cooked and crispy, take it out of the pan. Let your pan cool and remove some of the fat. Then add about a tablespoon of butter. Make sure not to remove all of the bacon fat, you still want some left over. Once the butter is melted, add a half a cup of diced onions. Saute the onions for about 5 minutes. Then add 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Saute the garlic with the onions for about a minute. Then remove the onions and garlic from the pan and set them to the side. Once you've removed all of the garlic and onions, you can either add a bit of olive oil, bacon fat, or butter to the pan and cook your spinach. Make sure you rinse your spinach before cooking it. Cook about 9 to 10 ounces of spinach. When you have finished cooking your spinach, take it out of the pan. Drain your spinach and let it cool. Then finely chop up your spinach. If you want huge chunks of spinach, you can roughly chop it up. When you're finished, set your spinach to the side. Next, chop up one can of artichoke hearts. When you have finished chopping up the artichoke, chop up the bacon you cooked before. And some green onions. Next, shred some fresh mozzarella cheese. By the way, using fresh mozzarella cheese is optional, you can just use the pre-shredded mozzarella cheese. Next, in a bowl, add 8 ounces of cream cheese, 1 cup of sour cream, a half a cup of parmesan cheese, and 3 fourths cup of mozzarella cheese. Fold all these ingredients together until well combined. Then add the artichoke hearts, spinach, onions and garlic, and the chopped bacon. Once you've folded everything in, you're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, 1 4th teaspoon of pepper, 1 4th teaspoon of onion powder, 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 4th teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and 1 4th cup of green onions. Then mix everything together until well combined.
we are finished, set your bowl to the side. Next, greasy baking dish or an iron skillet. Then, add your spinach dip. Evenly spread out the dip throughout the pan. Then add mozzarella cheese on top. Bake your spinach dip in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Once your spinach dip has finished baking in the oven, allow it to cool for about 5 to 10 minutes before serving. And this is the finished result. The spinach dip came out great. It tasted delicious. I love spinach and artichoke dip, so this was really fun to make. This is a simple and easy recipe, so I totally recommend it. I got both pita chips and tortilla chips for the spinach dip, but tortilla chips are the best chip to serve with spinach dip, in my opinion. And would you look at that cheese pull? Magnificent. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!